What is up guys, it's your boy Gonzo and welcome back to a new video. Quick disclaimer, if the video looks like ass or if it's laggy, I'm actually using my laptop to record this video because I want to try something out, so please bear with me. Today we're going to be doing glitchy melodies. This is actually quite simple to achieve, so let's just jump into it. Also, keep in mind that before making the glitchy melody, you still need the melody. I already have a melody from Splice, which sounds like this. And I think it's a perfect example of a simple melody that works with these types of effects. Let's actually link this to the master. I'm gonna be using the sixth track. You can use any tracks, honestly. And we're gonna start off by adding, hello? By adding a fruity delay three. Now we're gonna go to the delay model. We're gonna turn it off and then we're gonna turn down the dry level. So now it's gonna sound exactly the same. And as you can see, there's a SMP rate, which means sample rate knob. What we're gonna do now is turn this probably halfway, so 1.5K Hertz. Something like this, you can always tweak it depending on the sample because the tonality is gonna be different with you know uh, every melody. Now I'm gonna add a plugin called Kickstart, although if you don't have it, I'm gonna show you guys how to do it without any VSTs. So let's just add it and... That's pretty much it. All I did was move the waveform to the left once and we already have the stutter melody and now I'm just gonna add an EQ and then, you know, tweak it a little bit, get rid of the low frequencies. And I'll also get rid of the really high frequencies like the treble, like this. I'd normally use the EQ before the delay because it's gonna affect the way it sounds like, so. We still get a crisp sound, a bit crushed sound, but not a really, really annoying, like screechy sound compared to, you know, without the EQ. And now let me show you guys how to achieve this effect without kickstart. The first option would be by using Grosbit. So if you open Grosbit, you can actually go and use the sidechain preset on this left bottom side, and it's gonna look like this. What we're gonna do now is actually move it to something like this. We're gonna change the curvature so it's like this, I don't know. Even though it's still not the same, we can do it by just moving this to the left and then playing with the curvature as well. And all we gotta do is do the same thing with the other three. Now on the last one, we actually have to add a new point. So we still need to remake these curves and then drag this one down and then change the curve a little bit. Now, the second method is a little more not fun. So we're gonna delete gross bit and we're actually gonna double click the sample, right click the volume knob and then create automation. Drag the automation all the way to the left so it's only a one beat automation basically. Now we're gonna copy the value of the first point. Also to make this easier, we're gonna go on the magnet tool and we're gonna change it to half a step so we have more control over the grid. So we're gonna move this by holding shift to the left. We're gonna add the point, turn it all the way down and then play with the curve. Same thing we're gonna do with the beginning. We're gonna add a point, right click, paste value so it's still the same level and we're gonna turn down the first one. So now this is what I meant by not fun because you have to copy this over and over again whenever the melody is playing. Otherwise it's gonna be muted. So now it should sound like this. Pretty much the same thing, just done in a different way. And now I'll add a few drums just to give you guys an idea on how this is gonna sound like in a track. All right, so I made a really, really, really simple drum pattern with some hi-hats and kicks and snares, an 808, one 808. And this is how it could sound like if, I mean, this could sound
And there you have it lads, this is how you make a glitchy, bouncy melody in FL Studio. If you guys enjoyed this video, please leave a like down below, consider subscribing to my channel, and if you want to directly support me, and also if you want to use these drums, you can buy my drum kit. You have the link in the description. You still have one day left to get everything at 50% off by the way, so do it. Anyways, I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace. Oh fuck, shit. I'm fine. <laughs> Thank you.